the Anthony Rizzo Foundation um, does amazing stuff raising money for cancer research, research um, and providing support to children and their families battling the disease. So the Yes Network and Anthony Rizzo and the Anthony Rizzo Foundation are getting together for an amazing opportunity to bid on amazing memorabilia, Don, and experiences. All right? You can check this all out on Anthony's website, Rizzo44.com. That is the website, Rizzo44.com. Don, listen to some of the things you can uh, bid on here, okay? Okay. <laughs> this one's crazy. 30-minute hitting lesson with Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton. Well, that's that's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh, plus exclusive passes to batting practice and two tickets to the game the same night. Uh, four tickets to this year's Cubs-Reds game at Field of Dreams, plus a meet-and-greet with Frank Thomas. That's pretty mage also. Very much. I got to tell you, Don, I think I'd like to go to a Field of Dreams game one day. If this continues to be a thing. It was huge last year. I mean, it wasn't great for the Yankees. They blew a lead, but it was still incredible. How about this? 30-minute pitching lesson with a guy you may be familiar with, Garrett Cole. Yeah, that's the guy. And Don, you used to pitch in high school. Maybe there's something good for you to bid on. See, you may test things out, see what you still got. See what I still have, yeah, whether I've aged well. I think the answer is no, but you never know. What do you think your What do you think your high speed was at when you were in high school? What would you? Ooh, get? that's a good question. I don't know. Probably, like, do you, you think? I, I think I might have been able to get in, in in the high 70s, maybe. That's what I would think. I mean, because if you told me you were comfortably in the 80s, that would have no. meant you went to another level. So uh, my guess would be like you were your max now probably 76, 77. Yeah, uh, yeah. When I would say when I was like you know by senior year of high school, yes. Now what I could throw now. And still have a rotator cuff? I know. That's the problem is anytime I throw a baseball, I immediately oh, you feel, feel my, it right down. It's, and it's, it's a shooting pain right down your arm. It's, it's, oh. so, it's so crazy. Like, you can chuck a ball around. But if you start trying to really let it go, it, it's – I have the exact same thing. Um, really, really cool stuff. How about this? Also uh, at Rizzo44.com, you can get a ball signed by Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. What? Yeah, it's 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 pretty awesome. Um, and we bring him in right now, Anthony Rizzo. Um, you, you've done so many awesome charitable things with families who have a child with cancer over the years. Um, what's it like for you now to get to bring your foundation and this work to New York, Anthony? Uh, it's amazing. You know, it's uh, I think what we do uh, as baseball players and the platform that we have to be able to give back and help out in uh, ways that don't just have to do with baseball is something that is such a great return and yet, your teammates your teammates by the way are obviously on board man you got you got stanton and judge to do a, a bp were, how how in, how excited were they about doing that uh great i mean I, when, when you ask guys for the time to the throughout the year it's, it's always tough but for a cause like this um they know how much it means to me. Um, they're excited. I mean, it, it'll be fun doing a lesson, the three of us. I think whoever wins that will definitely be in for a treat. Um, but, you know, Garrett um, doing a pitching lesson is really nice. Just guys, you know, it just shows about the guys and them wanting to give back as well. Is it a challenge, Anthony, when you go from one team to another, one city to another, to be able to to keep abreast of what's happening with the charity and, and take that – those contributions and what you do with the charity with you um yeah i mean yes i think i give all the credit to my you know my team as far as um my wife emily my mom my dad abby runs the foundation they they've really helped with everything but uh, i think now that we've settled in to be able to to really anchor down here especially for this year and the next year that we can start making an impact uh, off the field as well. I look at you as somebody that is is becoming a leader because of the fact that you've won. I mean, as great as this team is, there's not a lot of guys with rings. So how often do you find yourself talking about winning the ring and what it takes? Is that something that players around you pick your brain about? Uh, I think there's a fine line. I think, you know, we, when we, we're sitting around talking, it's baseball stories and, and it's all good baseball talk. Uh, I, I think 
you know, with this team, it's it's definitely a special group that has the highest of high expectations, and uh, we embrace those expectations, and uh, we've been playing into them. And I think every conversation we've had has been amazing, and when you do talk about winning, I mean, everyone's on the same page about what is it, what it's going to take to get it done. What's it like? Um, what was it like for you after spending so long in Chicago? And you're so beloved there, and and obviously it's a place you care about deeply. Um, what was it like? We just we we just talked a lot over the last few weeks about Freddie Freeman leaving Atlanta and how difficult that was for him. Um, what was it like for you? A transitioning out of Chicago and B getting comfortable in the Bronx. It was hard. It was definitely hard getting traded midseason, first time um, being in Chicago for so long. Um, was obviously very clear I wanted to stay in Chicago and it didn't work out. Um, but being traded to a, another major market, the biggest market, and, and New York has family up here. Um, my wife has family up here. It was just a great situation, and we really loved the city. Uh, we really loved playing at Yankee Stadium. Uh, the fan base, the, the passion everyone has. So it's been a, it's been a lot of fun just – getting ingrained in this team passion comes in different forms right because in chicago it's a different type of passion i, I always tell the story I, w I went to game three of the league championship series in in 15 and and you guys lost you were down three games to none i was leaving wrigley field and the fans didn't seem upset i mean they were they were upset but they weren't they weren't crazed because they just loved their cubs but in new york it's just a different type of passion was that an adjustment you had to make that we're winning is is, is expected and the disappointment is shown more? Um, uh, honestly, not really, because that's the expectation that I personally put on myself and I feel like our team puts on ourselves. So um, I feel like playing in Chicago for so long has definitely helped being able to come here and not really be too phased by outside noise. I think the longer you play this game, the more experiences you go through in this game, the outside noise um you're able to minimize it a lot more that's for sure speaking of the outside noise here on our show recently anthony like and we've been we've been sort of fighting back against it in some ways but a lot of the noise is about your teammate joey gallo um who's been struggling and a lot of the fans are quick to voice their opinion about it you are in a leadership position on this team well, what do you say to to joey in a situation like this what do you say to a teammate when they're struggling with the bat like this uh, I mean, we've we've all struggled before, and when you're when you're struggling, it sucks. Um, but Joey's Joey's, you know, he's been a big leader for a long time, and he's he's a great person. He works hard. He's he's a great teammate. So all the little things that go into it, you know, the results in this game on the outside world, I guess, define you. But on the inside, that's not what really defines you in this clubhouse. And, um, you know, we, we all have great conversations. We really enjoy hanging out with Joey. Um, Baseball-wise, it's just, you know, what, sometimes when one thing clicks, it just goes off. And he has a pedigree of hitting a lot of home runs in a, in a short amount of time and a long amount of time. So um, when that does go off, it, it, hopefully it's a it's something to uh, we could all just sit back and enjoy. Uh, is he good in the room? Is Does he bring a leadership as well? to this team um joey's joey's really undercover funny uh okay he uh we all i mean we all hang out we all get along i think everyone on this team has their their leadership uh qualities um but i mean i i love playing with them and i love them off the field as well yeah but the reason i ask that is because it's so easy for fans to look at the batting average but there's other things that go into being a great teammate and being a contributor to a first-place team. And I think fans just kind of need to know the kind of player he is besides, you know, the, the 168 batting average that everybody harps on. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, – listen, fans, fans are passionate. I, I get it, and they're going to be passionate. Uh, it doesn't matter – how good you're doing or how bad you're doing if you have a tough outing uh, your fans are passionate and that's the way it goes anthony back to the uh foundation the anthony rizzo family foundation H how did this all get started for you and and why is it so near and dear to your heart um i you know i obviously went through cancer and just wanted to be able to give back 
um, making it to the big leagues and, and helping out pediatric cancer. Um, everyone has pretty much been touched by cancer or someone has had cancer in their life. So um, for us to be able to raise a lot of money and help families directly um, is very special to us just because I know when we, when I was sick, the Red Sox helped us directly when I was with them and they paid for all our medical bills and really helped us out because, you know, some, the reality is sometimes families need to decide, are they going to pay their bills or are they going to help save their child's life? Mm. Did your cancer put baseball in a different perspective for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it just puts life in a different perspective. You, you, you know, in, in life, I think when you get hit by uh, hard reality, uh, you have two ways to respond to it. You could either just attack it head on or you could kind of sit in sorrow in it. And uh, for me, I hit it head on and just try to take every single day right now as, as you know, it's a new day and very grateful to be out here and just enjoying being on the Yankees, enjoy being in New York, enjoy sitting in the dugout on this interview, just enjoying the ride. Cool. Uh, Anthony, also you, you're, you're also, you're a very generous dude generally. Um, and, uh, and, and we're a long time Parkland resident. And back in 2018, um, you spoke, um, it gave an emotional speech that a lot of people remember. Um, how, do you continue to be involved with uh, par the Parkland community? And, um, obviously, it's been a tough. It's been a tough uh, couple of months, couple of years, long time in terms of gun violence in this country. Where are you at emotionally with it right now? Um, yeah, I mean, as far as Parkland, I'm I'm there all the time. I mean, my parents still live there. My brother lives there. That's where I grew up. So, um, I, like I said, when something hits you near and dearly, um, you know, it just hits differently, and uh, you know. When when things happen, I just wanted to be there for Parkland and the residents and and help out any way I can, uh, even if it was just a quick smile to to escape reality for a few minutes. How about Judge's season? Just an incredible one in you know having to deal with the contract. Uh, how has he been as a teammate, and how great is it to watch the kind of season he's putting together? He's, he's he makes this whole train run. He's he's. He's everything that I ever thought he was, plus more, and I love playing with him. I love uh, getting to know him more and more, our friendship, uh, how he works, how he prepares every day. It's just you can't say enough about him, and you just see it. You see the results paying off. Hey, Anthony, thank you so much for your time. Um, everyone, get over to Rizzo44.com. Bid on some of these amazing items and support a great cause. Thanks for making time, and thanks for the work you're doing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Good luck. There he is, Anthony Rizzo of your New York Yankees. I, I, I like that guy. How could you not? Like, he I just... Mean, honestly, everything that he's been through, and he, he's, a, he's a leader on this team, and, and he can try to downplay it. He's got a ring. You know, and he got one of the most special rings you can get, Peter. No, I mean, Don. In 2016 with the Cubs. 